the first thing we need to do is to download MySQL. Choose the version you want to download. Essential package is the minimum package to install MySQL on Windows. Double-click to start installation wizard. Accept agreement and license and choose typical setup type and continue. Click next to configure MySQL Server install service and security settings. You can just follow suggestion by the wizard and click next. Select the suitable character set and collation for you. Select service name and set passwords for root account. Click execute to start the configuration. There are many tools to facilitate database management, development, and administration. You can use MySQL browser as this example, MySQL command shell, MySQL workbench, PHP MyAdmin, etc. Double click to install. Simply follow suggestion by the wizard to finish the installation. Launch the browser to start working with MySQL. Enter username and password to log in to MySQL Server. In this example, I use Test Database. Right click Create New Table. Enter Student. Or table name. In this example, we use two columns ID to identify student and Vacha as student name. Just try to browse the table data by using select statement you need to use use statement to set default database or right click to the database to do it open eclipse right click select new project java project choose any name for the project Then click finish. Right click to the project, select configure, convert to Maven project, then click finish. Click on palm.xml to edit the file. Add dependencies tag. And go to Maven repository website to get dependency. Search for MySQL connector. Select MySQL GDBC driver, get the latest version. Copy and paste to the file. Right click the project, select new class. Choose any name for the class, check generate main method, then click finish. Declare java.sql.connection as a private variable of the class 
so you can use it for Now we'll write a method to get MySQL Server connection. We use class.forName method to dynamically load MySQL JDBC driver class into memory. All JDBC driver has a static initializer block to register itself with driver manager. And use a static method driver manager get connection to establish a connection. With JDBC, a database is represented by a URL. You need to specify host name and the port name for the server is listening on and database name in the URL. Add throws declaration and import the missing classes to the class. Now we call get connection method from the main method. F rows exception or surround with try catch statement. Right click to the class, select run as Java application. We haven't specified MySQL username and password to get connection. Try again, it works. Now I'll show you how to get lists of students from the database. An SQL statement is precompiled and stored in prepared statement object. This object can be used to efficiently execute this statement multiple times. A table of data representing a database result set. Execute query method is used to execute query and returns result set object. A while loop can be used to iterate through the result set. A result set object maintains a cursor to pointing to its current row of data. Initially, the cursor is positioned before the first row. The next method moves the cursor to the next row. For integer, we use getIn method and get string method is due to get string value from database.
Before testing select data from database, we need a method to insert data to database. Clone the method and rename it to insert. Change the query to insert query. Question mark is you as placeholder in prepared statement. Set in specify the first placeholder. In this method, we need two parameters for student ID and student name. And set string specifies the second placeholder. Execute update method with you for insert, update, or delete statements. We just want to update database, so insert method is not required to return anything. Now we call those two methods from main method to insert database to student table and select data. Now add some message to make our application more friendly. Run the application once again. Data is duplicated. ID is unique column. We just change the value and try again. We need to write a method to delete data. Same as previously, we clone insert method and rename it to delete all. Change the query. Add message for notification. Call the method from main method. And run. We just modify a bit in getlish 
method to count total records returned from the query. We always need to close connection after using it. 